Hello guys, and welcome back to the channel. I hope that you've been having a good day. So I thought we could do a build in the industrial style. And actually, I think one of you commented on one of my last videos. I've done industrial builds in the past. It's a style that I love. I love building industrial types of houses. So this is definitely something that I want to do again. And by the way, thank you so much for all your suggestions. There are a lot of them that I want to do in the future. And before we get into it, uh, I just want to say that you can follow me on Twitter or on X if you're in there. I tweet uh, about Sims sometimes and also all of my builds are uploaded to the gallery under my ID, which is Cats Against Crime. I'll put those references up here on the screen and I will also leave everything in the description so you can just copy and paste if that's easier for you. And without further ado, let's jump into the game. So we're in the world of Evergreen Harbor and I think this log would be good to do some industrial builds. So I just loaded up the lot and as you can see, everything around is very industrial already. And I feel like this would be a really good spot to do like a factory that's been turned into a house. And as you can see, the build that's that comes with the game already has some industrial influences so i think this would be a good spot for it when you bulldoze the terrain we get this texture and i kind of want want to keep this shade so we can just get the matching one and paint all over i prefer this because it's more looks more seamless between the ground on the actual world and so we can build on this i think i'm going to be inspired a little bit by a museum that we have nearby where i live so I'm just going to do these two shapes for now and I'm still not sure about the wall height but we'll figure out as we go. And I'm just going to do a second floor because these factories usually have really high ceilings. I want to try some things. The first one is to be inspired by what I told you about and that is having these separations on the building itself. And then in the middle of these parts they have these really long windows and they're very industrial. So I was thinking we could use these windows from Moschino. By the way, Moschino is such a great pack just for these windows. And then I want something like this, but that is also industrial. We have this one, which is very industrial. It came with the industrial loft kit, but you see, it doesn't really match the width. I just filtered by base game and I found it. And even though the width is not the same, it looks like it's the same style of window. So I think we can use that for now. For this part that sticks out to the front, I think this could be the entrance. And we can use maybe these arched windows from also from the Moschino pack because they just look so good. And I think I'm going to replicate the same in the back. I think we should get some wall paint here before we do anything else. I want to do a red brick. Honestly, that's quite simple, but that's exactly what I want. Here in the back, I'm going to do this little trick. So it looks like it's just one big window. As for the front door, I'm not sure what I want to do yet. We have this arch, which is pretty cool, but I don't want to use this as a front door. And I think we'll just go with the mosquito one. Did I say mosquito? I don't like that this section in the front, they don't connect. So I think we can hide that by adding these awnings to kind of get some detail going there, especially because they have this metal texture to them. And I think we can also add maybe some trims. Okay, I think I like this rust color with the orange underneath. And we can try raising this up a little bit. Let's select the foundation with the black trim. I think we need some sort of porch area here. Let's do this one. And we almost have the same matching. And we can use these for, for the fencing here at the front. And I think we have a matching railing. Yes, we do. Okay, it's taking a little bit of shape. Let's try to work on this roof. I think I'm going to pick also some of these rusty textures for the roof. Wait, I never realized these had like windows on them. I'm shocked. Okay, I think we can use that actually. I like the idea. I don't like the hole so much. Would have been good, but let's just go for this metal one from Island Living. So I think I'm going to try to do those roofs where they kind of go down in segments. I'm not sure what they're called, but I'm just selecting some half walls and I'm doing two sides down each time I go outwards. Okay, let's make it the same color and bring the roof a little bit up. 
Okay, I think we can try to make that work. Let's pull the eaves in. Okay, I think I'm into that. As for these sections here, maybe we can bring them up also, like so. And I think one thing that I want to do in this build is add just some skylights. And I think we can start by trying to do that. I guess in the middle of, of the whole build would make some sense. Or I'm thinking that maybe we can do three of them, one in each of these spaces. Let's try it out and see how we feel about them. I'm just going to select this one. Now, when you put a glass roof and you want to remove the flooring so it lets the light through, you can either move it and delete the floor like so, or you can just reduce it a little bit, then you delete and then you just put it back where it was. And there you have a skylight. I'm going to do the same for these two, delete the floor and push them back in. I'm gonna replace it with this glass texture because it's more industrial and I'm just gonna paint everything. Let's take a look at it from the inside. Okay, if it is too much, I think we can move them around, but so far I don't see any problems. Maybe we wanna raise this up. Now, one thing that I wanna say is that every time I try to build with a specific style, I wanna be as accurate as possible. However, sometimes that is not possible because since we're playing The Sims, we have some constraints. And, and also when I'm building, I wanna have the freedom to do some things that I think would look better in the game and sacrifice what you would do in real life with a style like this. Because I think when playing The Sims, I need to I need to keep in mind that because it's a game, I have to look at playability and also try to make the aesthetics work. And so this is why sometimes I will make choices that maybe not everyone will understand. But I think that considering the restraints we have and also everything that we can do, I'm not sure how I feel about this trim, actually. I think it looks better without. Also, I just found this really cool looking chimney that we can use as like the old chimney of this building or this factory. Let's maybe add two of them and I'm going to change the size. OK, they look more realistic now. Instead of these roofs, I think I want to try something else. I want to do a side pitched roof and I want to repeat it in these three sections. So I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to paint it the same color. And I'm going to delete this half wall. So now I'm just going to copy and paste them like this. I think I like the look of it, but I don't like that it has this weird glitch here. OK, I had this idea of changing the wall view to this. And now I can paint the flooring with the same roof texture. And because it is dark, you can't see it as much from the outside. I think we can do this for now and come back to it later if we feel like it's necessary. I still want to add this glass roof here in the middle. So one thing that bothers me is this thing and where when you look from the inside, you see it's a little bit glitched out. So I have an idea to fix that. So basically we go on the inside and we put some walls where that part of the glitch happens. And then we want to get some spandrels. I'm going to select this one because it's very industrial and I'm just going to place them where I put the walls. And when you look from the inside now, a little gap is no longer there. And we still have this really cool industrial feature, which I think will look good in the end anyways. Let's do some chimneys here because I'm not sure about these the end, but I like these ones here. OK, let's take a look at the inside. And I think I want to do a loft type of build. So let's get rid of all of these walls and floors. OK, so I think the upstairs can be this spot right here. And we should use these stairs because they're it doesn't get more industrial than this. And let's see what are our options for lighting. These are quite industrial as well as these. So I think the kitchen could be somewhere under here and we need to figure out a space for the bathroom. And I think it's a good time to add maybe some columns. Let's do these ones from the werewolf pack. Okay, actually, this is a really big loft, so I think we can actually change it around. I changed the layout to this. So you have the entrance here and this is right away a bathroom, possibly the only bathroom in the whole build. And then up here you will have the loft, so the bed. And then under we can have a kitchen, which is going to be a really big kitchen. And then we can do dining and living over on this section, which are also going to be really big. And I'm going to use some of these lights. This one, these ones that hang lower. Let's filter by the industrial loft kit because there's something that I want to use from this kit, which are these, these ducts 
so they can add a little bit more of this industrial feel and also because the industrial style has a lot of these things so they have raw materials exposed and they also have a lot of steel details and if you look at the roofing at the ceiling rather then you'll see that they have some crazy ducts going there and i'm trying to create a cool shape over here to make it a little bit more interesting when you look from the inside but i'm not sure how annoying this is going to be when you play hopefully this this little ornament disappears let's bring some of the wallpaper in and we may do some feature walls especially in the bedroom but i think i want to keep it like this for the most part i want to make it look authentic and make it feel more authentic as well i think these can be kind of distracting so i'm gonna get rid of them and do a simpler pattern over here okay we can do something like that and it also frames the room a little bit i'm gonna add some of these decals to the outside to make it look more run down because we want it to be intentional this old factory being used as a new building or having been transformed into a home i'm just painting the ceilings right now i'm making them concrete as well and i think i'm gonna add some more of these columns to frame the space and add some more industrial elements so because the trim doesn't go on this space where the stairs are so i want to delete the part from this wall only if i go with the sledgehammer tool you see that it, it's gonna delete everything, but if you hold shift, it's gonna select only that wall. So if you left click while you're pressing shift, it only deletes on that wall. And then this here is not as seamless as I would like, so I'm just gonna copy the column and paste it there. And now it's, it's looking better from this side at least. Another trick that I like doing, especially with spaces like these where they're very dark and the lights that we choose don't really give that much light, is to hide some of these uh, saucer lights where the original light is, so like this and like so, and it kind of just, it kind of hides it there and brightens up the space. And it doesn't really make much difference anyway because lights during gameplay, they disappear. I'm gonna do the same here and now the space is just a little bit brighter. Okay so I think we move now to the actual furnishing and we can start off in the kitchen. Usually I would figure out everything first before furnishing but I feel like the interior is gonna dictate a lot. So we can use these counters, they're very industrial and they come with the base game so that's really good. I wanna do them in this swatch. It's really pretty. And since we have such a big space, we can do for sure some, some islands here. Okay, that looks good enough. And let's also do some stools. Good spot for a sink is always in front of the window. I think we can do these cabinets over on this wall because it's empty right now. And I don't think we need actual cabinets, especially because we have these windows here. So maybe we can do some shelves. I like these ones with this metal detail. I think you can do some over here. We also have this really cool one from the were werewolf stuff pack. Not stuff pack, game pack. And maybe we can use them in the bedroom and rearrange them in a really funky way. Okay, we'll see about that. Let's put the fridge in here. And we need this stove hood because, well, it's quite industrial. Since we have so much room, I think we can add a lot of appliances. Honestly, we could have a little coffee bar over here, just adding some clutter to this little nook we just created. Let's bring this over here and add this little piece here. I sized it up with the tool mod just to fit seamlessly between these two pieces. Trash can over here. I'm just adding some debug items as well to these shelves. Don't forget to save your builds. Let's get some decorations out. I always do this trick to rearrange the clutter however I want. It's like it's technically floating, but then you place everything right back. Let's also add these knives. We also added this crawdad and catfish to be a little bit different. And honestly, I think we can just wrap it up with some more decorations like this. Honestly, I feel like we need some kind of maybe plant hanging from here because it's looking kind of bare. And since we can't put cabinets, I think we just need a few plants here. I think we can do these two and they add a little bit of color as well. Let's move on to the dining area. And we have this table from the industrial loft kit, but I want to do a longer table. Or maybe we should go for some, maybe for a dark wood one. Okay, I think I'd like this one. And then maybe we can use some 
stylish chairs. Actually, I like these, so I think we can use these ones. They have the wood and also the metal, or we can even try the black. And I want to do a rug as well. I know what you're thinking, I am always using this rug, but I think it's because the last few builds that we did, they had concrete floors. And as I said, this is the best type of rug you can have in a place that is concrete because it's fuzzy, it's warm, and it brings literal and visual warmth. And it's from the industrial loft kit, so I feel like I have to use it. I tried some others, but nothing else was working, so it's just gonna have to be this one. I talk a lot about framing and this just gives structure to the actual building. There's something that I want to try, which is having some glass to separate the kitchen. Because I've seen a lot of that being done in industrial interior design. And you know what? I like it. I think we should keep it. Okay, let's figure out the living room and see how we want it to be. So I think we could frame the fireplace first. We can do maybe some custom built-in shelves on the sides. We have so much space, so I think it would look good too. Okay, we can work with that. And I'm just gonna fix this right here as well. By the way, I'm not done with the dining area, but I wanna figure out where everything is gonna be because we have plenty of space. So we can add a study area, which could be up here. And we can think of other activities that we can do in this space. I'm not sure about this. We can try to use this one here. I sized it up a little bit just to fit better in the space. For custom bookshelves, I think we can maybe do some shelves instead and clutter them up. Now it's time to clutter up these shelves. I'm doing this little trick, which I think I've explained before, which is when you can't snap objects to a shelf, you can use a bigger shelf or a shelf with more slots and you place the item in there and you can move it freely at that height instead of raising it up with the control 9 key every time and when you're done you can just delete it okay i added some clutter i think i just want to put some objects to wrap up this little corner actually i think i'm gonna paint these walls with this wallpaper because it looks like someone painted over the bricks and i think it helps adding dimension to the space but now i think i want to brighten up these shelves so they don't seem so blended in these are the same swatch, by the way. Let's add this vintage piece over here. Let's pretend these are some vinyl records. I think we can even extend these shelves to the windows. And also, I imagine these spaces are very, very cold, so we can add some radiators under. Then we can clutter these with some plants. I want to use these lights because they're very... I think they fit the vibe. Maybe we can bring in some color with it. I don't think I mind the red. Let's change it as we go, as we feel necessary. I think we can do these from the industrial loft kit. And they also come with the matching armchair. I cannot find it for the life of me. Oh, there it is. This feels like a good layout. And then for the rug, I don't actually mind this one. I think I'm liking the black better. What if we did something like this instead? And I think I want to add a few of these the reason being there's too much space and also it helps support the structure and give something else for us to work with because for instance now i'm thinking this is better to try and create a study space maybe right here have something else in the middle and i think we can actually try something different here which is if we get these shelves and rotate them with the tool mod create this kind of shelf or the radiator and I feel like changing this fireplace. I think we just go for something like this. And I also want to change the rug. And I wanted to change the fireplace too, because I want to add a TV in this space. Let's do this one. I think I want to align this table with the window. And let's try to work on the study area that we were thinking about. Let's do this desk. I don't think I've ever used it. I have the matching chair. And actually, I'm thinking that I want to not enclose the space, but do something to kind of get this section to separate the living from the dining. I'm gonna try bringing this, these spandrels. So how about we do something different instead and we extend this part to kind of go around and then we can add it also in the middle. It's looking like a little bit of a mess, but let's try it out. Okay, so how do we feel about this? 
I weirdly think it works. Because now I'm thinking we can add some more windows on this part. And this way we can divide the dining from the living area. At least partially. Okay, I think I like this a little bit more. And maybe for this little part over here, we can add these rugs as if this was some metal grates. And I think this is a good way to add some realism while having some functionality and some more dimension to this space that was very big. Not sure about the rugs though. Let's maybe switch for this one that, that we have in the roof because it's also metal. So now... I'm gonna do some more plants. This hanging plant goes so well with the space for some reason. I just wanna use it and reuse it. So I'm also thinking what kind of person would live in this space and all that comes to mind is an artist. So I'm thinking not just a, not a sim who paints, but a sim that masters a lot of arts. So maybe they sing, they paint, maybe they write as well. So I think I wanna add a few things around for this artist because let's face it who would live in a build like this just gonna add a few paintings right away what if we do some of these in the glass and i just saw these objects i think it would be cool to add a sculpting table so you can get these objects with the woodworking table so i'm gonna add one in here but i think i still want to try to give the illusion of one of those tables that spin and you work with the clay I feel like this one would be a good start. Actually, I think this is a good option. So I'm thinking maybe we get some tables like this and we can try to make our own spinning wheel thing. Honestly, this one from Journey to Batu kinda has the vibe of it. Just gonna grab some items while I'm at it. It can be useful. So basically I just used this table, flipped it around with the tool mod and placed it under so it looks like, you know, it is able to spin. And I'm gonna place this little teapot on top of it. Okay, I think it looks cute. And now we can add some more sculptures. I'm just gonna add some clay inside this bucket and maybe some on this table as well. And then we can add some of these tools just from the debug catalog. Let's add the llama here instead and maybe add some sculptures around. Let's add also this little table. Now let's add some clutter around as well. Let's do this table here. Then we can have some standing lights maybe next to this couch. This one is pretty industrial. And I feel like over on this space we need a ceiling light. And I'm thinking of this one from the laundry stuff pack. Let's do this little tray over here with the candles. I'm thinking we also need another lamp here, but maybe we could use this one for a change. And maybe on an angle. And what if we use the, the artwork TV? Oh yeah, I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger. Okay, that looks more like an artist's living room. This place is seriously missing some plants, so let's take care of that. Let's put this one here. And on the swatch, it kind of looks like lavender. Let's do this one by the entrance. I'm just gonna add this little piece in here because it looks good. Maybe more realistic. I don't actually know how pottery wheel looks like, but I like that little touch. Let's add some more vases that kind of look like this artist painted or actually sculpted. Okay, I think this space is coming together now that we've added some clutter and some plants. I think we've given it personality because this sim is a multi-artist, so we have a lot to go off from. And I want to get them a computer. Let's get this typewriter. Maybe they like the, the old school vibe. And I want to add just a touch of clutter in this desk as well. Like this little pencil holder. And maybe we get a lamp. This is a good desk lamp. Let's do the yellow to add some color in. Let's move some things around here. I think the light above this makes more sense. Let's do this watch. Let's add some artwork, which is safe to assume are artist sim painted. Let's maybe add an extra chair here. Let's maybe bring in the green from the painting. I've just cluttered up this little ledge that we made and also put some candles here. And to wrap up this dining area, I feel like we just need some table right here. And I wanna do something simple because we already have this window here, which lets this beautiful light in. So I don't wanna cover it. So I think these items here are a good choice. You know what, let's add this little stool to the kitchen just to get to those higher places on the shelves. Let's add this by the entrance actually. Now let's get some 
everyday clutter in here. Just gonna do some boxes in here to make this feel like a little storage space. And I've just used these stains in here to kind of make it look like it's still wet or dirty from all the clay work. And now I'm just gonna finish up this little area here. Okay, let's maybe move on to the bedroom. And for the bed, we have this industrial loft bed, which we could use. And I don't mind this yellow swatch. Or maybe we should do the dark one and then... No, let's keep the yellow and let's get a rug in here. I'm gonna add the same fuzzy rug just because... I mean, you gotta have it in the bedroom, right? And we can add this little guy at the end of the bed. Hi, it's a new day, which means we get to finish this build today and there are already some things that I know I want to change so let's jump back in we're back into the build and already I am not feeling these chimneys here so let's get rid of them and I think we should add something else there for the interior I think we should do some wood flooring on the bedroom it instantly warmed it up a little bit. Wood usually goes well with this industrial style, so I think we can go with it. And since we have this side and also this side as blank walls, I think we can do like a fire escape staircase here. I think we can try to go for this door since it has the metal around it. And let's place some um, kind of deck here. Let's do it like this and we'll expand. Let's put the stairs in. Let's get the same railings out here and also some fencing. And I can also add some of these trims just to make it look a little bit better. Okay, so we have our fire escape ready. And now on this side, I want to include some sort of room just to add something different to this side. And I think I want to make it also a metal wallpaper, something like that. And I'm doing this just to add a little bit more industrial feelings and also to add some dimension to it. We can use this door from the greenhouse kit. And I think we can use the matching windows that we already have on the inside. I'm just messing a little bit around with this part right here in the back. Let's add some of these graffitis around. Maybe the original sign has been removed from this spot. I think we can turn this small area here into a hangout area, maybe put some couches and some things like that. And let's just add another one of these here. This is an old factory after all. So by the way, a lot of you suggested some books and some of them I have actually read, just a few. And then a lot of them I have in my to be read list. So it was really cool to see what everyone's reading. Not only that, but also for all of the positive messages and those last videos that I've been putting out. I'm really impressed and thankful for all of the messages. And it's really nice also to know where everyone's from. I have a little bit of all over the world here in the channel, which is really, really nice. And I'm just adding now these plants that kind of make it look like they have grown over time. No one's really taken care of them. Let's get some more terrain paint here. I don't want to add a lot of greenery because we are in a very industrial place and it's not like it's a very proper environment for greenery to grow, but sometimes we get a little bit of overgrown and we all know those plants that grow in literal concrete, so some of them are really tough. So you can add that in and make it try to make it work. Let's give these sims a bike too. Maybe we can bring these columns out and we can even make a little covering for this part. I want to grab these slabs from Eco Lifestyle and I'm going to change the color to black first and then I'm going to go in with the tool mod and I'm going to rotate them. I'm going to rotate it like this to kind of create this covered area. Let's of course already add this plant in. But anyway, I think we should finish this bedroom first. And I want to change the colors. I'm actually going to rearrange the shelves like this. So they look like their boxes stacked on the floor on top of each other. And then we can use this dresser that came with the same kit that we've been using. And I actually also want to use this rack for the clothes as well. Because I want to have some extra decor. And we have a big space here. So we have a lot to work with. We have some clothes, let's get some shoes in. We also need a mirror, so maybe we move this here. We can get a big mirror to go here. We can even do a cracked mirror. Let's lean it against the wall too. 
Okay, that looks good. I think we can try to make it look like the sim is hiding these problems in the wall with putting a plant in front of it. And since this sim is a very multi-range artist, let's add a piano in here. We need to probably do this one instead. And we should leave it in the loft area. Let's also add a guitar in. I love this. Uh, freezer bunny guitar so let's actually replace it with that if i played the guitar and this wasn't my guitar i think it would be a good idea also to add some of these funky lights because they fit the space and this may seem odd for some people but i think i want to add some of these lights in i think it just fits the vibe it's very industrial and maybe they can use this for photo shoots let's add this neon light as well Let's add some other paintings in here. And since we have this space up here, which I'm not sure what we want to add, I think this is a good clutter item for now. Maybe it's some work in progress that they have. Let's add a record player in the bedroom. Let's also do some books in here. Let's add some clutter there and some more books. Okay, I think that's a good kind of shrine there. And I feel like we need some sitting area over here. And now I think adding some plants to this corner makes sense. We can even add these. This is a cute item from the movie hangout stuff pack. So cute with a little cacti. Maybe two armchairs will make more sense. I think it's just better if we add color through this stool. We can do a little bit of yellow. Then let's do a little coffee table here. Let's add this as a coffee table. Let's do this lamp here as well. Let's add this little tray over here. I'm gonna put these books on top of this stool. Let's add another hint of yellow here. And this item I also rotated with the tool mod. The title of this video is gonna be Rotating with the Tool Mod. Honestly, I think that's it for the bedroom. I want to keep it simple, especially here where you have the division between the bedroom and the sitting area with the wardrobe. Let's do the bathroom now. Let's maybe add some stone flooring to the bathroom. And I want to do a shower box with these windows so I can have a little shower moment here. Let's add the toilet here. We should replace these with with some counters. Since we have this space, I think it's a nice touch. And now let's add the actual sinks and put this plant in the corner. I'm also adding a hamper here because I'm thinking of turning this little spot into a laundry room. So we have that in. Let's put some clutter. Let's actually place this robe on this pillar here. I think that gives it a nice touch. Let's do this clutter item that I don't use often just because it takes up a lot of counter space, but I think we can in this build. Okay, I think that's a good use of the space. I think we can just add some sort of artwork on this wall to wrap it up. Let's do this one. We can maybe do this rug for the entrance, just because I kind of like this rundown look. Let's put a coat rack. Okay, I just put up this little thing here and I changed the color of this chair to green. I just noticed that the clutter I placed on this shelf has disappeared, so let's do it again. Let's do this laundry room and I'm gonna put right away a washer and a dryer. And this room could be turned into something else, like a photo studio. Maybe they, maybe they are also a photographer who does photo shoots for other sims. This could be like the little studio. Let's add this in as well. I'm thinking of actually just keeping it very simple. I think I want to add a chair in here. Let's do this plastic one. I think it's so iconic. Let's do it in the blue. Let's finish off with a couple of rugs. I use these from the werewolf game pack because it has some worn out swatches and that is exactly what I want for this space as well. I think our interior is done so I'm just gonna finish up a few things outside and we'll be right back for the final tour. Here we are in the final Final build and we kind of went for this look of the actual factory so we wanted to have like this original structure that then has been acquired and upgraded by someone this is a look at the side of it and also a little sneak peek at the back already we can see a lot of industrial influences and elements we have the fire escape here and now let's take a look at the inside as soon as you walk in, you are greeted by this entrance area with some plants and a bench. You have here something to drop your keys on and you have this big mirror here. And then you can already see how tall the ceiling is here. Right away we have a door which leads to the bathroom and this is what it looks like. I added this for some ventilation since we don't have any windows in the bathroom. We have a hamper there, we have the shower area here. 
And yeah, it has some clutter, has some exposed pipes as well. Back again, you can go around and check the kitchen. It has this divider and as soon as you walk in, you are greeted with these huge windows and you have a lot of fun cooking items. You have some clutter. You have this island with the stove, some clutter there as well. And you have here the coffee bar, even though it's enclosed, it still feels very airy to me at least. And yeah, after we can check out this dining area. So it's quite simple. We have these metal chairs and a wooden table. And just looking up from here, we can see already this huge skylight. Afterwards, we can check this little study area here. And if you turn around, you have the little art studio, which has an easel so you can paint. And it has this custom made spinning wheel of the pottery table that we did. Yeah, just plenty of clutter for this artistic sim. And then lastly, on this floor, we have the living room. So it looks very lived in, a lot of clutter to make this industrial space feel warmer. We have some bookshelves there, have these comfy leather couches, and of course, these amazing high ceilings. And yeah, just a, an overall look of the build from the living room. And now we can actually check upstairs. We have that big sign over there too. So going up, we get to the bedroom, which of course has a lot of these same influences. A lot of books there, some plants, paintings, and some more clutter. We have this little also custom shelving unit that we did. And then over to this side, we have a little sitting area. So you can have your tea, maybe this is where you try your clothes on maybe. And you have some instruments here. So we have a piano and a guitar. I'm obsessed with this guitar. and still with all of these industrial elements. You have this part as well where I kind of left it as a storage area and with a woodworking table, but I think this is something you can work, you can add on as time goes by. And of course we have the skylight here. This could be a really good spot for some activities and it has some amazing views of the rest of the build. And then if you want to check the outside, we have this sort of extension which I turned into a laundry room. So we have some plants as well. We have, of course, the, the washer and the dryer. Uh, we have some clutter as well. We have a chair. And yeah, it's quite simple, but I think it looks in line with the build. And lastly, we can go around and we have this little sitting area, which in my mind was all made with upcycled items so or recycled items so basically everything is just collected from the trash or has been donated or has been bought secondhand and i feel like that's a really cool concept and also maybe some things the this artist refurbished so we also have a barbecue here and this table so you can do some arrangements if that's something that you're into we have some lights as well but yeah, this is the build. Let me know what you think. I'm really happy with how it came out. Now that we are getting towards the end of the video, I just want to say that we are over 3000 subscribers. That is still so completely insane to me. I was definitely not ready for this, but I am so over the moon with all of your support. So I want to say again, thank you. Thank you for subscribing for all of your comments and likes. They're really, really nice. Even though I may not reply to all of them, I for sure read all of them and just know that they make my day much better. And so let me know in the comments what you think of this build. It will be up on the gallery. My ID is Cats Against Crime. And by the way, I will be traveling for a few days starting from the weekend. So the next video might take a few days more. So just putting that out there. But I hope you have a really good day today. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.